Hey man, you ever hear of Upchurch? I, 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 I might have heard of him. Isn't he some kind of like a uh, country rapper or something like that? You fucking idiot! Good afternoon, friends and family of Pop Culture TV. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> Big Man is actually here this time. What's up, all you beautiful motherfuckers? All right, so for some of you people who couldn't fucking tell because you're halfway fucking retarded, all right? I mean, so are we. You, you know, mean, yeah, I'm not that saying goes anything. Saying. Exactly. I was being what's called uh, facetious, all right? So keep that in mind. For the family, you know I'm fucking around. For all you other fucking idiots, you know. You're a fucking idiot. Just to be clear, okay. what were you fucking around about? Because people, again... Yeah, so, uh, there's a video going around right now uh, by a, a, a person who claims to uh, be a country music historian or something to that effect, right? Whatever the fuck he wants to call Whatever himself. he wants to call himself. He's a country music connoisseur or, or ooh, historian. Ooh, ooh, oh, yeah, hey, yeah. I'm bringing out the big hey, one today, baby. Hey. That's right. <laughs> So he pretty much he claims to be the end of BL fucking country music is what I'm understanding of this. Apparently he was... Country music doesn't get past him without his fucking stamp of approval. Who the fuck is he? But I anyway, guess exactly what I'm getting at here. <laughs> apparently he was... Uh, he used to work for Rolling Stone magazine? That's what the fuck out of it. I don't give a shit. All right, Rolling Stone, I need a dick. If I fuck is that anything about it? interview these nuts. Can interview these nuts! <laughs> right? Anyways, so... He set out and he and he put out a video about uh, Mr. Upchurch, and uh, you know what? I didn't like it too much because it seemed like he was just attacking his personality a little bit too too much or his past images. Just, yeah, you know, like yeah. kind of like kind of just like oh yeah, he's just some fucking schmuck. Now I'm not the biggest Upchurch fan in the fucking world. That's you know this guy. Do I like the guy? Yeah. Do I like his music? Yeah, but I'm not like one of these fucking uh, giant fucking fanatics. You know? Oh, I wouldn't say fanatic. I, like, I enjoy the dude's music. Yeah, exactly. But uh, at the same time, though, I just felt like that video was extremely disrespectful. There was fucking no need for that. There, there really wasn't. You were attacking the man's fucking uh, character for no fucking reason. I just, I didn't appreciate that. You know, you know what I mean? And, and it's funny, too, because he, because I, I watched it, too. Did and uh, the guy, uh, whatever the fuck his name is, it's called him Red. Uh, I just call him Red because he's got a red face and a red beard. You'll see it in a minute. And uh, he, he he was saying that he, uh, he didn't want to do a, a, a video of Upchurch because he was afraid to get on one of the fucking... Too <laughs> late, motherfucker! Too late, motherfucker! You're done <laughs> fucked up now, bro. All right? You, it, it done happened. You done fucked up. So the you, one you thing you were worried up. about... It fucking happened. Yeah, exactly. If you didn't want to end up on a live stream of his or a skit of his... Then uh, maybe you just shouldn't have fucking done it. I don't fucking know because you, you know damn well the same thing applies to us right. too. You post something on fucking YouTube, it's like fucking fair game for everybody. All right, so. I'm I'm sure that one of these days, Church will take one of our videos and just fucking rip it apart. It's like stupid. <laughs> you know what, Church? I hope you do. Please, <laughs> right. just you know, just to make us look like fucking idiots. Just have fun with it. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so he just was being extremely disrespectful. Right, yeah. And I, I, I kind of wasn't feeling it. And his, his nightmare came true. Yeah. Church wound up doing a skit <laughs> called a glove box geeses, <laughs> which I didn't, uh, realize that, uh, you know, geeses, there's more than one geeses. <laughs> gooses. <laughs> gooses. <laughs> All right. There's a duck, there's a goose, there's a geese, and there's his geeses. <laughs> All right. It's a goose. It's a goose. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so we're gonna do a reaction to Glove Box Geese. Wait, what's it look like a Jim Carrey thing? <laughs> it's the goose. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find that clip. I'm we're, pretty we're, sure it's a Jim Carrey We're clip. ready. We're ready. I haven't way too much fun today. <laughs> All right. So um, let's sit down. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to watch this you know what, man? train I, wreck together. I, I think I'm going to nickname him Red Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> what does it 
tricks are like red for me. Here's the player. Because like, because you, you don't see what I'm seeing right now with this fucking. You, your family, you're gonna watch it with us, but it is fucking great. We're gonna put a picture of Red Foreman somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hey man, if Church can fucking give nicknames to everybody, fuck it. <laughs> have fun. We can do it. <laughs> so we're gonna have fun today. Guarantee we're, this guy's right. probably not gonna see this anyway. I but. hope he does because it'll be fucking funny. Uh. <laughs> Alright guys, let's watch this uh, shit show oh, together. Rolling Stone Red. But no? what? No, another nickname? No, oh, oh, I like I like Red Foreman better. Yeah. Let's uh let's start it together guys. Three, two, one, and uh we're gonna get going here. Watch this. What's up you guys? What up, fucking? Fucking <laughs> What up, fucking? This is gonna be super simple. Hell yeah. <laughs> Before we get to the kind of end of year retrospective stuff that you know all the best of 2019, I want to make sure he's got that face, man. He's got that face. Just want to fucking God, just, just fucking, just, oh! just fucking headbutt. Just he's got that face, bro. Okay. <laughs> he's just got that face. I think I did that too. Wait, I got like You know what's right in front of us? What's happening in the industry right now? The first thing I got to talk about is this song, "Hey Boy, Hey Girl" by Upchurch and Katie Noel. Raise hell, praise Dale, fucking. Hey girl, this tank ain't on e. I'm about to spend every dollar that I'm hitting this week. Is undoubtedly. Most frequently requested person for me to cover on this channel. Okay. Smell that? If you're unfamiliar with him, Upchurch, no, I don't. Ryan Upchurch <laughs> is a country rapper. Uh, uh, Here we go. There it is. There, there it is. is. There, there it is. is. Country rapper, bro. No, motherfucker. <laughs> no. All right, as you fucking know. The man's not a country rapper. He's a, a country, country artist. artist. Yes. Does he do country rap? Yes. yes. Does he do country songs? Yes. yes. Does he do other country fucking genres? Yes. yes. So it's a country artist, artist, not a fucking country, country rapper, you stupid fuck. The bullshittery starts. There it is. And I have generally just kept my distance. So I read in your bio that you used to work for Rolling Stone fucking. So fucking. you may be keeping your distance, but the people you whacked for work, because they were in my backyard interviewing me. Oh! <laughs> I hope you fucking served them some fucking shine fucking. All right? That was because a, you know what? That was, that was a little flex right there. That was a little flex. Yeah, you know what? Let them flex. Uh, no, I, 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 I on this kind of video, you gotta fucking flex a little bit. Yeah, you, you know what we know what clip we gotta put in there just for that, just for that little flex with those fucking kids screaming, Oh! <laughs> I'll see if I can find it. Hold on. <laughs> Did I not just say the same fucking shit? Like, like, come on, man. First things first, like, you're having all these fu other fucking rap artists crossing over into country to begin with, but when they're fucking rapping and doing all this other shit, do you sit here and be like, oh, well, that song by uh, Little Nas X, that was a rap song and not a country song. Well... Really? Originally, it was a country song. By Billy Ray Cyrus, yeah, yes, that's right. Okay, and then it was what? Uh, cover by Lil Nas X featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. I would say it was a remix. I wouldn't say it was a cover. Whatever, it's the same shit to me. All right. 
Same motherfucker. Didn't that motherfucker win the guy? He won a fucking AMC award. Is that what it's called, right? An AMC, like, yeah, an AMC award, a country music award, or AMA, or whatever. I don't give a fuck. He won a country fucking award for it. All right, and you're like, really, bruh? Really? We talked about this in the fucking country, in what is country? Anyway, let's get back to this. Come on. Shut the fuck up. Country <laughs> rapper. Your channels for country music. You sing this in the country charts. It's a country song. Rapper. Like, rapper. Oh, no, he's one of those country rappers. They have to say that shit, but they don't like you. You know why, Buggin? Well, that's easy, motherfucker, because it makes them look super fucking good to a certain demographic of people that never get blocked on YouTube. <laughs> Unlike us, who get blocked and yeah. copyright claimed all the fucking time. Ain't that some shit? All right, okay. All I, right. I, th I, th I think we get Shadow Man too. I, I think so. I, I highly, highly fucking have suspected that for a little bit. We get some Shadow Man. I'm because uh, I, I was checking the other day. I was like, wait, something ain't right here. Something, something don't add up. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Why the fuck you think this next clip? Look, out of all the stuff this Smady Griff guy could have fucking... Smady Griff? He could have looked at Rolling Stone. He could have looked at... Oh, fuck, fuck! He could have looked at Red Light. He could have looked at Summer Love Album. By the way, Summer Love, that's Summer Love Album. Oh, it's a great album. Good album. I like that one. And shit, but what does he do in the next clip, fucking? Well, I'll just fucking show you! He freaks out every fucking thing to try to make me look bad to a certain demographic of people. No, that's not my thing. You know, when something just isn't Why is your thing, no, I just thing. look at all this ripple flag. Oh, goddamn, ripple flag with a gun. Oh, goddamn, ripple flag with a gun in the weeds, fuck it. Well, he already, he already knew what he was doing. He was right. sitting over here and he's like, yeah, I'm going over here. I'm going to find all the clips of him like wearing ripple flag stuff and stick it in there to make... Let me tell you something. When you're like editing videos and shit, you, you're damn well fucking looking at fucking videos and clips, and you're deciding which fucking shit to put yeah, in. You're dissecting every. You you literally are clip. fucking picking clips and fucking frames and seconds. So that was all fucking intentional. Yeah, that Fuck was fucking no. what he was doing. Like shit a little bit to some people, and then later on in the in the fucking video, what I'm gonna do is. I'm just, I'm just gonna say something like, I don't know why the rebel flag is like the big thing. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> you no, know that hip hop is not my scene. Uh -huh. Yeah, but who's asking you for hip hop to be your scene? Uh, no one's asking. I didn't ask you. It's your fucking channel. You do the fucking You're the one who wants to do country shit. Do country shit. It ain't for everybody, man. You don't have to do hip hop, fucking. What are you talking about? And, and, and that's the other fucking thing. All right, it's your channel, bro. You you choose the content of your channel. We choose the content of our fucking channel. All right. You choose with the cover. You choose. I mean, you didn't have to. If you don't like something, don't take it down. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like the, the kind of music Up Church puts out, and you know, like all the artists, like. Uh, uh, Demon Jones, um, Adam Calhoun, you know, Katie, uh, Jelly Roll, Struggle Jennings, you know, it's... We gotta, we gotta listen to some Jelly Roll, actually. I got some songs for you, boy. We gotta, we gotta listen to some I Jelly got, Roll. The family gotta, has been like, yo, get some Jelly Roll going on. I, trust me, family, I want to do some Jelly Roll, too. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I got some shit for you. And, anyway, so so let, let's continue. But yeah, like, that, their type of music, it ain't for everybody. What the fuck you do with them, bro? That's it. Don't fucking do it. Really, look, man. You know, I, I've gotten, uh, I got uh, my uh, one, one, of my, one of my other friends I knew since kindergarten. You know, I started tagging him in some upshirt stuff on mm -hmm. Instagram, like uh, some music that I would post. Is this uh, who I'm thinking it is? Yes. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. Let's so, you know, at first, you know, at first it was like, yeah, man, I don't um, NA for me. Then when I actually got him to listen. Mm. Two, two options because motherfucker was in my truck, so he had no choice. <laughs> 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 Sit down, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, I'm driving. You, 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 you're tuck and roll. <laughs> Sit. But it <laughs> So, so he, when he actually got him, got him listened to it, he's like, you know what? It was like kind of misjudged. Yeah, uh, uh, but again, it, it's you know. He had to sit down and listen to right. it. Right. You, you know, and if you're just like, ah, I don't like it, and you're like, grooving through shit, which I can sit here and tell you, I, I've been, 
I've accused myself of doing the same shit. Accused and do something. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And then I'll sit down and listen to it. <laughs> all right. I mean, I've done it too. I mean, we've all probably you done know, that. You exactly. Know? Uh, let's uh, let's get back to this. Hold on. I'm not really trying to go review something just because I know I'm going to dislike it. Like, if I were actually to go to a hip hop party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even like country, and I don't even think there's a hip hop party. <laughs> and from what I've heard and what I've seen above church, he is really making music for that group of people. For the maybe uh, for uh, in America. For the overlooked country people. The overlooked country. Overlooked folks. Mm. Not, not, the, not the regular country people. No, no. no. The overlooked but are these overlooked ones what that the fuck does that mean? I don't because I think means. we tend to think country music is for the country people, but it seems to be a lot more suburban, a lot more bougie. I have also... Yeah. Do you know what that yeah. word means? Huh? Do you know what bougie actually fucking means, bro? My head hurts. Like, like, just... Really? Like, bro, bougie means, like, rich. Like, you got fucking money. Like, you like to show shit off. That's fucking bougie, motherfucker. I think the word he was looking for was, I'm assuming, mainstream. I would have gone bo bohemian. Yeah, okay. Uh, bohemian is like fucking, you know, like, uh, kind of like poor, you know, fucking, you know, uh, rips in your fucking shirt and your fucking pants and shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Rips in the fucking knees. What, whatever, I, bro. I think you use that word wrong. <laughs> right. Fucking bougie, bougie, bougie. Bro, I don't even think like this man's fucking music speaks to the bougie fucking Not market. Not in the fucking slightest. Whatever, whatever. Just come on. I wanted to kind of go near hip hop because. From the outside, it seems weird how much Confederate flag waving oh, there is in it. Oh, it's a right. symbol. Hey. I'm not scared of the Confederate flag. I don't I'm think we should erase it from history I'm or anything like that. I'm not but it does seem like a type of music that's not really meant to kind of invite people in. It's it's all about oh, like, so oh, 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 oh. look at that very hey, easily and say, hey. you white pride. Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, 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 why, where, where are you getting white pride from, brother? Hold on. Well, where well, the fuck did you get that from? You, where, where? Man. Can you tell this man something? Can you? Ooh. Where the fuck did you get that from? Where, where is, where's the white pride coming from? The, what? It, oh, my God. I, I have, of, 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 of doing this channel and of doing uh, Mr. Upchurch's music, I have never once heard him sit here and be like, Hey, the white pride! Hell! Yeah. Fuck the dark is! It's the black pride! No, I have never heard that shit in my life. We're gonna get some shit for that. Obviously, that wasn't me speaking. I know. You should just I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, obviously, that, you know, was fucking... <sighs> that just... Uh, the... Where were you getting that info from? Where, where, where did you... Uh, are you assuming shit? I can only assume that you are assuming that he's promoting white pride. When well, I didn't, I didn't see that. I, 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 I guess I can see where he would pull that out of his ass from. Okay, so he must have had his head so far up his own ass. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found the white pride. It's right there, right next to the dingleberry. <laughs> you know, he was so far up his ass, he had to go past the balls, past the gooch, and... 
I, I, I can't see it, bro. I can't see it. Whatever. whatever. But, but no. There's no such... I've never there, once seen no, an instance of white pride. There's no such... like Defining that as white pride, that is just... Like, no. that, that's, that's, that's some ignorant ass yeah. shit. Like, it's, that's what it's, that shit it's, is. The, the, the rebel flag ain't about white pride. It's about southern pride. He, he actually does say that in his video. Is that it is about southern pride. But how he's like, oh, but I could see how from the outside looking in, yeah, it's, it's a symbol of white pride. Shut the fuck up. Well, when, when he says it like that, if, if the people are not familiar with the rebel flag, they take one look at the rebel flag and automatically assume it's a racist That's hate why symbol. you need to sit here and do your fucking homework. But people are, a, a lot of people are so fucking ignorant and fucking lazy that they don't want to learn about the fucking history of the goddamn do flag and, and assume hate. With, and racism with that fucking flag when it has nothing to do with hate or mm. racism. Just do your fucking homework and you'll be all right. Do some little bit of research. Just a little bit. Just a little, little, bit. Little, little bit. You know, Google goes a long way. I'm just saying. All right, let's, let's get back to this. Everyone, you can look at this show with a lot of people at it and me and my band standing on stage. Can't you see all the white pride everywhere? And I know that that is what they have said. It is not. That it's not racist. You know, listen, I know that the dude that I'm talking about in the video, I know he ain't racist because I've seen the 50 million videos he's made about talking about unity and shit. But, you know, hang on, let me post this damn picture of him wearing a, a rebel flag shirt, a uh, hoodie. But I'm just saying that's how it seems from the outside. I want that hoodie. You, you, you see, once again, when you're editing videos, you're choosing certain images and clips to put mm -hmm. into your shit. And but you'd be like, oh well, you know, I could sit here and see how the rebel flag's not racist, and then you're showing a fucking photo of the guy fucking in a goddamn rebel flag hoodie. And he's like, it's not racism, and then you're fucking standing there, you're associating racism with the fucking flag again, and you're putting that shit in people's fucking mind now. So now they have no choice but to associate racism with that fucking flag. You stupid fuck. I'll give uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, how many uh, Spanish people? Wear like a jersey or a shirt with the Puerto Rican flag on. There's a, look, I'm I'm I'm. Uh, oh, 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 the Italian flag. I, I, I'm, a Puerto, I'm a Puerto Rican uh, man, and I can sit here and tell you, all right. How many motherfucking Puerto Ricans have the fucking Puerto Rican flag fucking on their chest or on their fucking arm or they have a jersey with the fucking thing or they have the boxing gloves hanging from the fucking rear view mirror with the Puerto Rican flag I've seen, on I've it. Seen the flag or the course. or the Dominican people or the Cuban people or the Italian fucking people. I see it all the fucking time. You know, you know what? That's actually uh, I just I just thought of a, of a good point. Even though you may not have been born, say, like, in Italy, Puerto Rico, no. Dominican Republic, or whatever, mm. but you're still repping it's, that heritage and that pride. It's what you associate yourself with. Right. So even people that are not from the South could rep the rebel flag because they have a certain type. Because of what it means. Exactly, because it's not... Racism, it's Southern pride and heritage. Exactly, like the uh, Puerto Rican flag. It's a culture. It's a heritage. Okay, that's my people. The uh, fucking Italian flag, that's a culture. That's a heritage. That's the Italian people. Okay, stop. Just stop. Okay? Stop. It's like a... Uh, it's like a, like a... I would say double standard... Yeah, of course, it is a double standard. It very much is. Oh, it's okay to be this, but it's not okay to be that, even though it's the same shit. It's funny, too, because I watched uh, a YouTube video maybe a couple months ago, and it was an old uh, black gentleman. Okay. And he, he had the rebel flag hanging outside his house, and he even said it, too, that he that doesn't mean racism. Again, it's what you take away from it. That really is going to sit here and be your thing. All right, let, let's get back to this, huh? Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? I've also never covered no. up church on this channel because I'm not trying to get destroyed by him in one of his reaction videos. Too late, motherfucker. Too late, Too late bitch. bitch. Now we have this song, <laughs> Hey Boy, Hey Girl. It has been number one on the iTunes country chart for days. And oh, so well, congrats, yeah, yeah. congratulations, baby. Congrats. Uh, congratulations, motherfucker. Factor in the country music discussion. 
It's featuring this artist named Katie Noel, who is also in the hip hop, country hip hop, whatever you want to call it, country rapper category. Oh, yeah. the, the country rapper, the what, the whatever you want to call it. No, the, the country singer category. It, it's a country song, you country channel. <laughs> <laughs> I up this song, and this is interesting to me because it's not country rap at all. Why are you surprised that it's not a country rap song? If it was a country rap song, me being the country guy who's rapping the song, making it a country rap song, I would stick it in the hip hop and rap section, you know, where it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, we're talking about the one you found in the country section, which makes it, you know, not a country rap song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is just like a bro country song. Oh, 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 oh! Five years ago. <laughs> you hear that, Freak Squad? Oh, yes, you do. Yeah. We make 20 million rap albums. No one says shit. We make a country song, just like everybody else, on their caliber, without a record label. It goes number one, stays up there, still in the top ten right now, but no. You guys are the forgotten about country people, and we, and we make reject songs, fucking. I mean, it's almost like a stereotype of a bro country song. Wasn't you, like, just drooling over Kip Moore, like, the other day? Like the king of bro country? Somebody drive in a farmer's field. Oh, yeah, but you don't, you're sick of truck songs and beer songs, right? Yeah, you're sick of those. But, I mean, if Kip Moore will fucking, you know, be 10 feet in front of you, and you can ask him questions, you'd fucking love bro country then, wouldn't you fucking? You would. New York City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like me and my music editor, you and your publicist or something, you recall what you ordered at this extremely fancy midtown <laughs> New York seafood <laughs> restaurant. No idea. So, do you remember, we went out, right, and we got food. Do you remember what you got that one time? It was like three years ago. It was me and my missus at the time, and you and your missus at the time, and we went to this place, and we ordered some food. Do you remember what you got on that day? Absolutely. I fucking remember, no. right? It was a double-decker, you know, cheeseburger pizza fucking thing with an extra slab of fries. You may not remember it, because it was like three years ago, but I got it up here, bro. Right? I got it up here. Motherfucker, I don't remember what I did five minutes ago. <laughs> That's a fucking point, man. That's for a burger. Uh, yeah, to which the waiter said, no. Um, no. Loud. no. Interview with Kit Moore. All right, you, you, sir, ate a burger one time. <laughs> I remember. I remember everything that was on that burger. Do you remember? Do you? <laughs> it, it was all like $50 oyster plates, and you had them bring you a salmon burger. A salmon burger. Oh, I certainly got that for it. You know what that is right there? That's like a fucking, that's like a nervous, like, 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 get me out of here. Hey, hey. It's literally got Hey Girl in the title. Um, it's got Feet Up on the Dash. It's, it's got the Hey Boy. It's got the Hey Girl. I mean, he, he just, he, he's got the feet on the dash. He chopped off and just sat up there and hot glued him on the dash. I fucking know it. He's in the glove box. He's got the cattail behind the seat, fucking. I mean, also, I mean, I, I give myself tattoos with cigarette ashes, toothpaste from prison and water. And I fucking, you know... Pierce my own nipple with a spinner bait, fucking. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I called it family. Don't say it like, don't say it like that. Get a shotgun queen sliding in, you know what I'm saying? Itching her butt and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Sliding in like, yo, what's the radio station on, fucking? Got the moonlight, him looking at her. That's mad disrespectful. Yeah. Again, I I mean, now not only are you saying something about the man, you're saying something about the man's girl. Now you just you you really being disrespectful. Can I just say something real quick? Look at the face you paused him on. Family, can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> There's moonlight coming through on, on the face through the window, you know what I'm saying? Like looking at her lips and you know, something else that rhymes her lips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean it's it, it, it really almost feels like oh, a it sounds like a parody to him. Oh, get him some beard oil, fuck it. You know, like, it, it feels Good. like a parody, you know what I'm saying? Since this guy up church is, like, busting his ass real hard and, like, 
turning down every record label in, in Nashville and selling out shows all year, you know what I'm saying? Because he had to grind and shit, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like a parody, fuck it. But, you know, like, if this song came from, like, you know, somebody else who gets to walk on the red carpet, then it wouldn't be a parody, fuck it. <laughs> it would be a smash, fuck it. Well, you know, maybe, maybe our church was like, I'm going to make the exact same song that they make, and it's going to go number one, and I'm going to become... Uh, too big to ignore by all of the media that usually ignores me. Oh, little buddy. You That's what the whole fucking plan was. That's cute, little baggin. That's cute as shit. <laughs> this dude thinks I had a game plan and was like, yes, we're going to infiltrate Nashville by copying exactly what they do. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Motherfucker, I got stoned as hell, wrote foolers all day, went to the studio muddy with my girlfriend and wrote a song about her. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no marketing scheme here, fucking. And if he's doing that, well, you know, touche. But I just what? don't think it's good at all. This is kind of your standard bro country, hip hop country fusion. Uh, I don't hear anything special in it. I mean, maybe the idea that it's a duet. Well, yes, it's very special to me because, you know, people like me don't do what people like you do, which is, you know, sit in a room with a bunch of other writers and, hey! play, and be like, hey, who's got writers? What words do I use? I don't hear anything it's special in it. I don't <laughs> say that it's a duet is special. Like, uh, it's not like a girl singing this back to the guy. It's, well, I don't know any popular duets that are just a dude and a dude fucking, huh? Usually just the guy singing it's to a the girl. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Duets are usually just, you know... A guy and a girl on a track, but the girl don't say nothing. She just is real quiet, and then the guy just says all the stuff, and then they put featuring, and then the girl's name on there. That's how we do stuff around hers. I think kind of fucking figure. He's a good rapper, and I think like when he kind of sings about his personal or raps, there goes the rap still, still, again. still even towards the end, just guy just pushing me back over right. to the. Country rapper Get singer. Back in your just, fucking you know, hole. He's a good rapper. We're pushing back. He's a good rapper. <laughs> this is too easy. More compelling than some of the songs just about we're, we're kind of living out in the country and I have big trucks. Um, oh, you mean, you mean, you know, songs like everyone else has. Like, 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 like more, yeah. Like that. Gonna say. You know, that, that kind of jockeying doesn't do much for me. Jockeying. Unless I'm like, you know what I'm saying, like on your tour bus, you know what I'm saying, memorizing your burger you ate last year. <laughs> I mean, <isn't> it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy. I think I creepy. do get his appeal. Huh? You think you get it. You you think you think you understand the appeal of where he's coming from. You could never understand anything I sing about fucking. You no. Know, nope. Up church, like I said, is a world I don't really know that well. Yeah, well, yeah. No, obviously. What the fuck are you talking about that? Not knowing me, fucking. <laughs> That'd be good. Uh -huh. Obviously, uh -huh. you don't know shit. No, uh -huh. you don't, motherfucker. Because you're obviously speaking about shit that you don't fucking know. I mean, we, we don't know Church personally. No, we, we but, don't. We, we cover his shit on the fucking channel. It's really but hard. do we relate to his music? Absolutely. I like 100%. His, I, I like his music. I do. I like his music. Ooh, excuse me. Oh. I like yeah. a lot of what he does. That's like a close call. You all right? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. But yes, um, we we relate to his. Well, I relate to him. I don't know. I don't know if you relate. I I, I, I obviously, if I'm singing like fucking Hollow Boys and the fucking thing, I, I'm like, what are you saying? Right. It's 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 all about actually listening to the man's words. It's not even that. It, it, it's it's you 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 put in his shit. You categorize in a box. You 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 you're categorizing shit all, like an asshole. I mean, he's church is diverse when it comes to his his uh, his career. Yeah, that's good. You um, know, he he's he's not a country rapper. He's not a country. You're just being a piece of shit. He's just a country artist. Yeah, you're just being a piece of shit. That's you piece of shit. I mean, the ar um, the argument also could be made with Kid Rock. Yeah, he, oh, no. he he was a rapper, and then he became a country artist, and then he was doing his country rap, but you know what? I'm going to go back to when he was like fucking 16, 17 years old. Remember that song about slapping bitches and hoes? Yeah, he's a rapper. Even Mar though he's American like, Badass? Yeah, yeah, he's a rapper. Ball with a ball? I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, you, you, you mean a douche. You, you're a piece of shit. You know, it, it, it's it's one thing to talk privately to someone, like, like, like a friend, when, when you don't quite understand something. Yeah, but to go on, like, on a fucking YouTube, like, you're the fucking end-all, be-all of fucking country knowledge and music, and, and like, he's not a country artist, I mean, country rapper. I mean, I'm sure this guy's got some type of, of cred, but... Did you know he used to work for Rolling Stones? I did. Yeah, yeah. Apparently okay. he did. Okay. he's still Rolling Stones. I mean, if, if, I, mean bio. I mean, if, if that's... If, if he worked for fucking... I could fucking work for Rolling Stones. Shit, I'm gonna shit, I'm put my application in tomorrow. I'm gonna work for Rolling Stones. Oh, so are you hiring? Because, <laughs> um, you know, send me an application, uh, you uh. know? Uh, Maybe we can, right. we, can, we can work something out. All right, I'm done talking about this shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm finished. Uh, so, family, we uh, wound up splurging a little bit on yes. ourselves. Yes, we did. We invested into the channel yes, a little we did. bit. We, uh, we're putting up some new equipment. We're actually test driving the equipment while the video is going on right now. We're having some fun. And uh, we're going to see where it goes. we got more equipment coming in. And uh, stay tuned for our little uh, special episode on... Uh, how we do <laughs> how, our shit. How and, we, uh, you know, this whole gonna, thing operates. On how the whole thing operates. And you're going to look at us like, well, these two fucking morons are going to fucking do it. <laughs> right? And uh, don't forget, this upcoming Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. We're um, going to be wait, doing. Go what time? Because um, that, 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 we didn't discuss that about a specific time. All right, you know, like 3.30, 4 o'clock, you know, this Wednesday coming up. All right, we're going to be having a special live episode. Yes, our first live. Our first ever live since starting this uh, bullshit. All right, family? And we do it like a Q&A during yeah, the live. Exactly. You know, come on, join on the chat with us, have some fun. Uh, we're going to be answering some questions, you know, come with the questions. Uh, I've already saw a few that I right. liked. You know, keep bringing them. We'll be answering them, and uh, we'll be seeing you then on that one. Uh, we got we got a couple of things uh, in the works. Um I want to throw that out there as a feeler. How would you guys feel about t-shirts? Yeah, you, you know we we are we're playing with the idea of uh, you know creating like stickers and t-shirts and bumper stickers and all sorts of weird. Like shit. you know, because uh, apparently we have sayings that yeah, people uh, yeah, apparently. have requested to have put on so, you know, some shirts. You know, we're, we're going to play around with the idea. It's not definitive yet. No, not yet. You but know, it's, it's just something we're mowing over. We it, talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're talking about it. We're having some fun. Uh, that's pretty much really about it, my friend. Right? No, uh, it's anyway. not it. Oh, oh, we got more. We got fan art, motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, that's right. Well, I was specifically told... Not to check our social media account. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was told I was actually banned from checking our own social media account in order to sit here and uh, be prepared for whatever fucking <coughs> fan art we got. That's right. All right, because apparently you guys love ragging on me so much, but you know what? Though I enjoy it. Bring it the fuck on. <laughs> Let's have some fun. What is, what is this fan art? <laughs> that I gotta see now. Show me this one. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, the logo. The logo, okay, because we do have a new uh, fan art for logo. Go ahead. Yes, which is this. Let me see this one. Not bad. Okay, not bad. That's actually uh, that's pretty fucking all right. I'm digging it. Not too bad. I'm liking it already. You know, looking all sexy over there. What's uh, what's some of this other stuff now? Uh, Let's see that this. was from Shanda. Oh, Shandy. yeah. Her, her and the Mr. Love sending us shit. Yes, Mr. Uh, J. Rigby Jr. Okay. Oh, my God. These guys are fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me see what else these beautiful motherfuckers <laughs> have sent. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you ready? Let's, let's see. All right, guys. Uh, Hold on. Let me... Uh, uh. <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm ready. All I'm going to say... <laughs> well, with this one, I, got, I can't even say what I'm <laughs> Just show it. Just, just rip the bandaid off. Just rip the bandaid off. Let me see it. Say what again? <laughs> let me, let me, let me see this one. Let, let me, let me see this one. All right, just rip that bandaid off. Does he look like a bitch? That's 
good stuff. <laughs> but there's more. But oh, wait, there's, there's more. <laughs> Come on, it's another one. <laughs> oh, I want that for my own fucking shit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see this. <laughs> uh, Where's another one? Let me see this one. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Oh, a heart attack. I need to put that as like my screen tape. <laughs> Better. <laughs> I didn't even save that shit. Yeah, there's one more. Is that one more? One more. <laughs> I just want to make sure there's one more. Yeah, one no, more. Don't worry, we're gonna put it in the fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> let's, okay, let's see this one. <laughs> we're gonna fuck it. <laughs> License and registration right now. <laughs> License, registration, <laughs> urine sample, yeah. semen sample. Yeah. Same. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. I think if uh, I think if we do decide to create some merch, I think they're going to be like the first ones to get some free shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I like those fucking images. <coughs> you guys are, let me tell you something, you guys are fucking talented. <laughs> right. uh, I think that's going to be the show for today. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was some fun. Yeah. Right, one bad, one bad. One I, I hope this video is a hell of a lot better than that our normal. That our normal because we're using some of the new equipment that yeah, so uh, we hey, invested in. Test trial, a little test trial. Um, uh, you know what, guys? You know, like, comment, subscribe, do the whole fucking nine yards. Uh, and as always, stay beautiful, motherfuckers. And uh, you know, I love you. Right? And just a reminder, Wednesday. Wednesday, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock, you know, uh, live stream. Okay, guys? Get those questions ready, and uh, we'll be seeing you then, baby. Bye.